Okay guys, so good morning. It's now 5, 10 in the morning. Um, I just got up and dressed, brushed my teeth, washed my face. Still look like I just woke up. Um, I'm about to go do my heart exam. I'm about to go meet the anesthesiologist. Um, what else am I about to go do? Oh, x-rays. Anesthesiologist, x-rays, my heart exam. And then I'm going to be talking to the one and only King Cabral. Let him know exactly what I want to look like and what's going to be the best option for me. Today is Monday. I'm supposed to be having surgery today, but they said Mondays is like the worst day to have surgery because he's extremely packed. So I'm going to tell him if I'm not the first or second person that he's going to be doing, then I don't want to have surgery today. I'd rather wait until tomorrow or another day where he can do me first or second. So anyway, back to the story. Um, so last year we got here around July for Kayla's surgery when she had it. And we walked in. They, um, Cabral's assistant sent us to this recovery house. They said they were really good. Um, they're ama She actually said they're amazing. Dr. Fendi's home. They said she's amazing. We'll have an amazing time. We'll be well taken care of. So, you know, it was our first time to the Dominican Republic. We didn't really know any recovery house. Okay. So, um, yeah, they said that Dr. Fendi's home was actually amazing. And we would have nothing to worry about. They take really good care of you. So, we wind up booking them. Um, Kayla brought out hair. I think like $10,000 and I brought only $1,500 because I wasn't getting anything done. So they picked us up from the airport. Everything was fine. We met her. We met her boyfriend, Andy, who's also a driver here. He takes care of the patients as well. Love, Andy. Um, they brought us to the house. They asked if we wanted anything to eat. We told them yes, they can just do pizza because we're very picky. We don't really eat, you know, what everyone makes and stuff like that. So they decided to order us pizza. It was like nine o'clock at night, if I'm not mistaken. So that was really good. Um, so fast forward, she puts us in the room, which was the exact same room that we're in right now. She brings us upstairs and she was letting us know how the how much the price of the stay was. So Kayla paid her part of the stay. I took out my bag and paid my part of the stay. We left our bags in the room and we closed our door, but we never locked the door because normally you don't lock the door when, you know, you don't normally get a key to your room when you stay in a recovery house. They always give you like a safe to put your money in and stuff like that. So we wind up touring the house. We left our Louis Vuitton bags here and our money was in our zipper part. So keep in mind, it's the lady Fendi who works here. It's a nurse here. It's Fendi's daughter and it's Fendi's boyfriend, which is Andy. So keep in mind those four people. Me and Kayla was scoping out the place, of course, because it was our first time here. We wanted to just look around, like I just gave you guys a house tour. We looked around, we looked in each room because there wasn't no girls here. It was only me and her at the time. Um, we went upstairs to the roof as well because she was saying at nighttime, the stars look so beautiful and it looks pretty. So we're like, okay, well, we had surgery in Colombia before. So we was like, you know, everybody in Colombia was so nice. Everybody in Colombia was so sweet. No one would steal your stuff out here. Like, why do I have to lock a door? Because I think someone's going to steal my stuff. So being as though no one stole anything from us in Colombia, and we came out there with thousands of dollars as well, and we left it in our room and just closed our door and never missed a dollar, we was given, okay, so why can't we do the same exact thing here? Especially because they said they were so good here. Da -da 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 -da. So... We go upstairs, um, we're like up on the roof now, and she's telling us like, oh yeah, this is amazing, the view is so pretty, and the view was amazing, the view was so beautiful. We was upstairs for at least a good 10 to 12 minutes, just looking at the stars, and just talking to Fendi, getting to know her more, she was getting to know us. 
So she came downstairs and no, we came downstairs. Well, we all three came downstairs, but I think Fendi went to go do something. And I'm trying to really remember the story. Did we pay her before or no? We paid her now. No, we didn't pay her yet. Okay, so, so right. We never paid her. Okay. Right. So we never paid her yet, actually. But she had told us when we was coming downstairs from the roof how much each we had to give her. So like I said, she had about 10000 in her bag and I only had 1500 So she was like, yeah, your stay is going to be such and such. I think my stay was like seven and some change, right? Like seven fifty, And Kayla's stay was like 1200 So we come downstairs and I open up the little envelope from the bank because that's what we decided to put a lot of our money in. And I'm counting and I'm like, did you take any money out of here? Like... No, 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 no. I counted your money before you got counted, but you didn't count me. So, I was like, did I count it right? And I told you, you know, I'm Right, I started counting my money, because it was supposed to be 1500 I never counted it. Kayla did, and she put it in my bag. So, I was like, you said you put 1500 in my bag? And she was like, yeah, 1500 I was like, can't be. I'm like, this is only seven and some, this is only 700 And she was like, what, 700 She was like, give it to me, because I'm a little slow sometimes, and... When it comes to the money, I be having, like, issues. Now, I don't have issues counting, but, girl, y'all get the point. Like, I was just having a little issues at the time. And then, because I'm like, are you serious? You put 1500 in here, and then I'm only counting 700 So, now, I'm just, like, I'm just completely thrown off. So, now, I feel like my mind is fucking with me. So, I pass out an envelope, and she started counting the money. And she counted 700 too. So, that means I'm missing $800. And so she was like, well, you're missing money. I'm like, well, you need to count your money too. So now she's not counting her money. She's only counting $7,000 and she had $10,000. So I'm like, you must be, I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. I'm like, you're not serious. Like you're not serious. And she was like, no, like I'm dead ass. So I'm like, okay, bet. Let's go call Fendi. So I'm like, Fendi. We called her. She's like, what's up, my girls? What's going on? I'm like, Kayla's missing $3,000 and I'm missing $800. And she was like, are you kidding me? She was like, what happened? Nobody was in your room. There was nobody in your room. And I was like, no, like somebody had to come inside of my room. Like, I know how much I brought out here and I know how much my girlfriend brought out here. And she was like, well, listen, I don't know nothing nobody take your money i'm like well like at this point something has to happen like i have a bunch of videos from the insta snaps that i made and i will insert those videos into this video telling me that that you cannot let me out of this recovery house so you guys are basically holding me hostage so you're holding me hostage so so yeah no no no, no. the door is this way the door is this way so you're holding me hostage so y'all is holding me hostage. Okay, so so y'all holding me hostage. No, he's not. No, no, he's not looking for the key. He said he's not opening up the door. So you guys are now holding people hostage. This is what you're doing. Fendi's home is over here holding people hostage. Uh, oh wow. They got us guarded in this gate and, and not trying to open up the door. Wow. Fendi's home. This is what they did. So this is what they did. Y'all actually hold people hostage. Y'all, y'all hold people hostage. Y'all hold people hostage. You're not trying to let me out. You're not trying to let me out. You're not trying to let me out. Wow. Hey, you already stole our money. We're not giving you no more extra money. You already stole someone money. You can't show your cameras. You can't show your cameras. Y'all hold people hostage. This is getting uploaded on Facebook. It's getting on Twitter. It's going on Instagram. Fendi's home holding people hostage in DR. Let's see how it's like your clients like this. Y'all want to hold people hostage. And this is the people yeah. that comes to Cabral. Cabral. Cabral dog. When you come to Cabral's and, house. Andy, That's and then you also have Fendi. Yes, I'm Cabral. Yeah. They, they, they are yes, holding people hostage. Uh -huh. Yeah, y'all wanna hold people hostage? Wow, wow. 
This, this is what y'all did. This is what y'all did. Y'all want to hold someone hostage. Y'all want to hold somebody hostage. That's what y'all want to do. So y'all kidnapping people. So yeah, we know not to send nobody else here. Y'all want to kidnap somebody. Y'all not trying to let nobody out. Y'all trying to lock somebody in here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I have never heard no such. I have never heard no such. Oh, wow. I'm gagging. Fendi's home. Locking someone inside of their home. You girls know not to come here. We are asking for them like to open up the gate. They are not opening up the gate. They are not. Oh. Y'all, y'all are over here holding someone's hostage. Holding someone's hostage. Hold it. Show the camera. Show the camera. You can't show the camera. You can't show it. Y'all cannot show the camera. That's the thing. Fendi's home. Fendi's home recovery house. Fendi's home. They hold you hostage in here. They hold you hostage. I'm, I'm asking to, to be let out. I'm asking to be let out. I'm asking to get let out. You took our money as it is. You, you took our money as it is. You took, you were supposed to be called the police two hours ago. What happened to him? You were supposed to be. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. You're saying go. Who's scared? You were supposed to be called the police. But the police has yet to come. But the police has yet to come. But the police has yet to come. I'm calling. Huh. Yeah. You, you were supposed to been called the police. Two hours ago. You were supposed to been called the police. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Y'all want to hold somebody hostage. Wow. Y'all over here holding somebody hostage in here. This what y'all do in DR? Hold people hostage? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you'll see the arguments and stuff like that that we had here. But, um... So yeah, she's like, well, I don't know who stole your money, da 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 And then after that, I'm like, well, I don't have no reason to lie. Like, we get money. We got our body done the first time. We spent $12,000 on our body. We spent three, $3,500 on our city. Like, bitches ain't broke. Bitches get money. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Like, I know exactly how much you want out here. So she was like, oh my God, all the time Americans come out here and they say that People steal their money because they don't have enough money for their surgery. And so she's like, the people don't have enough money for their surgery. So the girls say that they steal their money because they want me to give them more money for their surgery. And they never bring the money out here in the beginning. And I was like, baby, I don't need your money. I came out here with $1,500 and it's only $700 in my bag. My girlfriend came out of here with $10,000 and it's only $7,000 in her bag. $3,800 don't just get the fuck up and start walking. So now I'm cursing. She was like, you don't have to curse at me because I don't do nothing to you. I'm like, well, it's your fucking house. And someone in your fucking house stole my fucking money. So I do got to curse. Like, this ain't no fucking chump change that we're talking about. Especially because my girlfriend's about to go get surgery. Like, you don't know how much the surgery is going to be. So we were just trying to make sure we was prepared, which is why we brought so much money out here. So now... I saw check in every room. I'm looking on the top of the cabinets. I'm looking underneath the pillows. I'm looking around. I look from bed to bed to bed to bed to bed to bed. Since we're checking everything, correct? Now let's say you don't believe us. First she believed us. First it was, oh, da da da. No, I now, that Andy that now that they see Andy is here, now that they see Andy is here, she want to switch that out. I never said that. Girl, yeah. bye. I never said that. What happened to the police coming to check? When do we have police yeah, come in. Come in. Uh, come in. Ah, okay. They don't even speak English, so I don't even have time. <laughs> no, no, they should leave. Come on. Come on. No, because we got a couple translators in here. No, over here. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.
Ah, el otro. No aprende el otro. Trae? Permiso, ahí, dale. No aprende el otro. girl. It's probably not even in here. They done left out and everything, girl. And then, girl, they got a whole nother room downstairs that we can't even go in because that's their personal house. <laughs> so, it's so important you even basically, even basically, like, even basically looking up here because the money is probably actually downstairs in the actual house. Yeah, or something. You don't know where is that now. Girl, what? It's nothing probably in there, right? Of course you want to tell us to check it. There, there is, there is nothing in here. Clearly, clearly, girl, the money is gone by now. her pocketbook, I opened up her book bag, I went through her book bag, there wasn't nothing. Cool. Now I go downstairs where I just showed you guys, to the kitchen table where everybody was. I asked them, can I open up their wallets because I don't want to go inside of their wallets. Can I go inside, can they open up their wallets and show me? The nurse was the first one to be like, I don't have nothing. She starts speaking Spanish and you know, I know poquito espanol, pero no mucho. So she was like, ay, mami, me, no nothing, no money, no money, no peso, nada. And she's like, look. And she opens her wallet, it's nothing in there. I'm like, okay, bad. I'm like, well, all I know is that $3,800 don't get the fuck up and start walking. And that's all we kept saying. Like, money doesn't get up and start walking. So someone has to find our money. So we walked inside the office. We started tossing all the papers around, looking underneath the papers, trying to see was there any money underneath the papers. Fendi and Andy have a room all the way down in the basement where that's their private room. So we were thinking maybe they took the money and, and hid it down there. And we didn't really want to go through their stuff, but at the same time, you have to understand. Really? It's $3,800. Like, that money was very valuable, especially because she just had to come out of pocket $1,200 for this day, and then I had to pay $700 for my stay. So she took basically half of my money already, and then that's just still taking money out of my girlfriend's pocket, and she's about to go get surgery. So. Uh -huh. Trust me, girl. The girl, the stuff is not going to be in there. It's probably downstairs inside of the actual house. Are we going downstairs too? It's a mess because I put everything like this, but if you want to, if you want to go there too, for me, there is no problem. Here, I think it's important. 
Guay. Dile Charlie, que quede claro, esto es privado. Esta es la habitación sí, privada. Is, Aquí nadie va. Son los no huh? privados. Let's go. Room. Para que so quede claro. Nobody comes down oh, here. Go, go. But go. exactly. Yeah, we don't come down go. here. They do. You, 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 your room. Go. I'm gonna say, yeah, it's too much stuff in here to be checking. I don't, I don't got time to be moving your stuff around. But I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm irritated. I'm ready to go. Like, what are we doing? What do you mean? We need to call, um, motherfucker Maria or something. No, cause, um, did you say you got another recovery house that we can call? No, I can't. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, now, now you don't know. No, no, I don't. I haven't got the, the phone number. Oh, so you're going to give me the phone number? I haven't got the phone number. Call Maria, call somebody. Ma, if the lawyer is coming here. I'm not worried about me. No, the lawyer. lawyer cannot give me no recovery house. You can give your name. There's <laughs> a lot going on. So we went downstairs. Um... We checked all around. We tossed their sneakers around. We was looking on their dresser. It was nothing there. So at that point, it's like, well, we don't know what to do. So like I said, I'm going to insert some more clips. And we just kept arguing all fucking night. They're talking about they wanted to call the cops and everything. And when they said they wanted to call the cops, I was terrified. And the only reason why I was terrified was because we're Americans. These people out here don't speak no type of English. They all speak Spanish. So I felt like... If they was to sit there and explain the story, the Dominican police is probably going to be like, well, they're probably trying to get over because they're from America. Let's arrest them. Let's take them into custody. You know, like they're just basically going to take, I feel like the Dominican people were it's over hours because we're from the States. And I didn't want that to happen. So now me and my girlfriend is on Instagram looking for different recovery houses. We're calling different recovery houses like, hi, do you have availability for two people? One is the patient, one is the guest, and da da da. And everybody kept saying, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm like, you know what, but I'm not fucking staying here. There's thieves in this fucking house. Someone stole our fucking money. I'm over it. So we wind up packing our suitcase and everything. We went down the stairs and we told them like, fuck y'all. Someone stole our money and that's foul. Like, that's just straight up foul. Like, that's crazy. So, they didn't want to leave. They didn't want to let us out. We was like, can you let us out? They was like, no, you're not going nowhere. So, I'm like, wait. So, not only do y'all steal our money, now y'all kidnapping us and keeping us hostage. Like, I was fucking terrified. So, now, I wanted to go out through the back door, but they have a dog in the back. And I don't play with no one's dog. And I can't sue no one out here in Dominican Republic for a dog bite. So, I paid going around the back. I kept trying to go through the front and open up the door. I was screaming for help outside. Like, because, you know, all of these houses are like mansions. So, they got barbed wires on the top so that no one can come in. And they also got these big-ass gates that you got like, slide all the way closed. And you need a key to unlock it to get out. So I ain't have none of that shit. I have no information on how to get out or nothing. So while Kayla's was arguing with them, um, I'm still walking around the house looking for a way to get out. I finally found the way. I'm like, sneak, let's go. Grab the fucking suitcases. So she grabs the suitcases and now she's running down the hallway with the suitcases. I broke like this little door that led to the street on the side and I was so happy so we opened up that door I was happy to be out but I was terrified of what the fuck was out there because I don't know nothing there's no service on the phones when you get out here you lose your wife by <sighs> excuse me you lose wi-fi and everything so we're running 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 down the block with our suitcase we're looking around. There's a bunch of stray dogs on the street. They're all barking at us. I'm like, what the fuck is life right now? Like, you can't be serious. So, the dogs are barking. The cats are meowing. Um, there's just strangers in the street. Like, I mommy, bang, bang. And, you know, I'm like, it's like, no, mommy, bang, bang, nothing. Like, we're not from here. 
We don't want to have to fuck no one up out here in these streets. Like, just leave us alone. We're two lost girls just trying to find our way. Um, five minutes later, you see this big ass car. And they're like, yeah, you're a liar. Why are you running? Why are you running? You should have waited for the policia because you're a fucking liar. And I'm like, oh my God, do you hear them? So now it's Fendi, Andy, and their daughter. And <laughs> I'm just like so much in shock. I really didn't know what to say. So I'm just like seeing, let's just keep on walking. So now we're running away from the car. We're running away from the car. And I think we went down a one-way street. Oh, excuse me, I keep yawning. We went down a one-way street and they couldn't come up it. So that was better for our advantage. And then we started hiding. So we was hiding in between a car. And somehow, I guess they seen the suitcase or they seen us bending down between the car when they came around. And so they took their video, they took out their phone and they started recording us. And they was like, they was like, these two girls from America is lying. They're trying to get money from me. They're trying to get money from me because they don't want to pay me. These two girls, Aubrey and Kyla, Aubrey and Kyla, they're lying. They're lying. They don't have no money. So I'm like, okay, now this bitch is really trying to embarrass us. Fuck hiding. All bets is off now. Like, what's up? So we get our phone. And now we start putting our flash and start recording them. So now Kayla walk up to one side of the car. I walk up to the other side of the car. Um, abrame. Um, ready? Si. Sí. Okay. Um, we walk up to the car now. And we was like, ain't nobody fucking lying. Someone in your house stole our fucking money, Fendi. Like, now we going on. And the daughter's in the back, but like, so why are you guys running? Like, why are you guys running? We're like, shut your mouth, little ass girl, before someone pop you in it. I was like, I would hate to fuck you up. And keep in mind, she's like 14 or 13 years old, but it doesn't matter. She was running her mouth with her mother, so she would have got hit with her mother. But, um, yeah, they was popping off at the mouth for whatever the case may be. Long story short, we kept running away from them after we had, like, this little phone war. Because, I, like I said, the police was already on their way. They called the police, and we just didn't want to get in trouble by no police or nothing like that. We were just really scared. So, we paid it. We ran into these strangers in a car. And I used Google Translator. And I was like, please help us. Like, we were supposed to be getting surgery out here. But they stole me and my girlfriend's money. Can you take me to the nearest hotel? Um, they're trying to call the police, but I don't want to get in trouble by no police because I'm not from out here, nor do I want to get arrested. So it was this guy and his wife, and it was their two daughters. And they were just like the sweetest. We sat in the back with the two little girls. Um, I was, you know, saying all oh, I said them speaking my little Spanish as much as I possibly can. I think I connected to one of their hotspots, which gave me Wi-Fi so I can translate more on Google Translator. Um, they wind up taking us to this hotel. And then before that, they was like, well, if you want us to take care of your girlfriend when she gets surgery, I can. And you don't have to pay me as much as you were going to pay the recovery house. And you can stay in my house and this, that, and the third. So, of course, we was like, sure, we'll take your number. We'll let you know because her surgery isn't for like three more days. So, we'll keep in mind. We'll keep you in mind. But, you know, we was just saying that. We gave them like a $20 bill, American dollars. And, you know, that's like $4,000 to them out here. So she was so excited, like, I do four thousand dollars, gracias, gracias, gracias. And he was like, Mommy, it's okay, it's a twenty dollar bill, we docs, like, it's nothing. So we went to this hotel, we asked if they had any rooms, and the hotel was going for forty dollars a night, which was great. So we went upstairs, it was just a long fucking day, and then I contacted my brother. Now, if y'all know me, y'all know my family, they're very dramatic. But at the same time, I feel like the dramatic is good sometimes because you just never know. So, I told my brother and my mom, I let them know what happened. And my brother was, oh, right, that's what happened. When we was having this phone war, Fendi was like, I'm going to call Cabral. I'm going to tell Cabral everything that you girls are doing. So, once she said that, 
it was given like, yeah, like, you know, she has authority to tell the doctor, like, don't do surgery. No, that's she can tell, right, that's what she was saying. She was going to tell the doctor not to do her surgery because of and this she, situation. She said to, um, pull our passports. So. And to take our passports so that we can't leave the country. <laughs> so, but once I told my brother that and my mother, they was like, oh, no, y'all don't know who the fuck y'all fucking with. Y'all better find the next flight out of there tomorrow morning and hit it. Because my brother was basically saying, like, you don't want your girlfriend going underneath anesthesia with this doctor. And now let's say this lady says, you know, kill her while she's under anesthesia or fuck her up while she's under there. Like, you know, we just wasn't trying to take any chances. And y'all know I'm very easy to get into my mind. So right. I was like, you're absolutely right. right. I'm like, I don't want no one trying to kill my girlfriend. So let's hit it. So we looked up flights. We left. We got to the hotel around like 2 in the morning. Left at 7. And left at it's 7. Like no. Hours. We left at like 5 in the morning. It because, was. right, we left at 5 in the morning, 3 hours later, because the flight was at 7 back to America, New York. I mean, not New York. The States, Baltimore. So... We find a way to get, how did we get there? Did we take an Uber? Oh, right, we took an Uber. Uh, or cab? I don't know Uber or I cab. think we took an Uber. We took an Uber to the airport, got to the airport, da 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 da, da. Once we get home, you no. receive a, no. No, we had two stops. We had two no, stops. We, we came stop. from Dominican Republic to Miami, and then Miami to Baltimore. No, I think it was. It was Miami. No, it was Charlotte. It was Charlotte North Carolina. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we went from Dominican Republic to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then from North Carolina to Baltimore. Once we get to Charlotte, we receive a phone call, or no, a message that was like, please call me, this is Fendi. So, I'm like, the fuck do this bitch want to talk about now? Like, there's nothing to talk about, bitch, it's already sold out money. So, um, she winds up calling us, so we wind up calling her, and now she's on speaker. So, I'm like, hello? She was like, hello, girls. How are you? I'm like, what's up? Like, we're not really here to talk. Like, what what's up? Did you find who took our money? And so she was like, so I looked at the video and I did see that the nurse went in your room. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah. I asked the nurse, why did she go into your room? But she said because she had to turn the boiler on for the hot water because she forgot to. I was like, so she went in my room to turn the boiler on. She was like, yeah, but when I looked at the camera footage, the boiler only takes 10 seconds to turn on. You open up this door right here, and then you go inside the bathroom, and you flip a switch on, and then you leave it, and then you close the door, and you out. She said, no, the nurse was in your room for more, for than, more than five minutes. No, I believe she said more than a minute. More than a minute, right. Yeah, she more, said she was in your room for more than a minute. So that was already skeptical. Like, what are you doing in that per in the people room more than a minute if the boiler only takes one second to flick on and then you leave out? It's like a um, light switch. So she was like, um, I asked the nurse and she told me she swore up and down, Fendi, no, 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 it wasn't me. I promise, da, 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 da. So then they started searching the house, they said, right? Yeah, they said that, um, what they say? They said, right, because they watched the cameras, the five, they five, they said that she swore up and down. So, right, they started checking the house. They started checking right. the house. And they found some money underneath the bed. Yeah. So they they, went to they the lift house. up the bed, and they found some money underneath the bed. It was like $500 underneath the bed, if I'm not mistaken, that she forgot to take with her. So, them and the police went to now the nurse's house. But before they went to the nurse's house, the next morning, she said the nurse normally gets off around 9 o'clock in the morning. But because me and Kayla left, now the nurse ain't have no one to take care of. So, she was like, can I please go home, Fendi? Can I please go home? I want to go home. There's no one here. She wanted to go home at 6 o'clock in the morning before the police arrived to the house. So Fendi ain't think nothing of it. She was just like, okay, like there's no one here for you to take care of. You can go home. The girl goes home. The police came to her house. Fendi came and so did Andy. They all went to her house and they like pressed her up. Like, where's the money? We know you have the money. We got you on recording going in their bags and everything, taking out the money. You so know, now she crying. she starts crying like, I'm so sorry, I don't know why, but they're Americans, they have mucho dinero, I just needed some money, da-da-da. When you found the money, they, they, they didn't 
Okay. So right, they never found the whole three thousand eight hundred dollars. They only found, I believe, like two thousand five hundred. Right. Yes, and they was like, "Are you sure you only had two thousand? I'm like, "Please don't sit here and start. Like, you already accused us of not getting no okay. money taken from us whatsoever. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, it's okay. You sure you, you sure? didn't have twenty five hundred? You sure it was three thousand eight hundred? Because that's the only thing we found." So now we're giving, well, we don't care how much you found. Because you're going to reimburse us okay. for that 3800 So you're going to give us that 2500 that you got. And then you're going to find a way to give us 13 extra hundred dollars. So they arrested the nurse. They took the nurse into custody, which I don't know how true that is. That's just what we was told. But, I mean, I believe them. So they took the nurse into custody or whatever the case may be. And they was like, so do you guys want to come back for surgery? You know, your surgery, you still have two more days before surgery. You still got to come take your labs and everything. So just let me know what you want to do. And because all of this happened, I'll give both of you a free stay. So Kayla was going to get her free stay um, and free massages. And I was just going to get a free stay as a guest. No massages or nothing like that. And I was like what you want to do and of course she wanted her surgery so she was given of course like why not everything is cool now she apologized a thousand times because before we even like came here when we even met her what's the name she was real cool no, she, no so we called her just, all the time like so. we spoke to this lady almost every day up until the time that we got here and she was like you girls are my girls i love you girls and like oh, she was yes. very and big on love you and everything once the nurse and on once we got out, here like, it was like yeah she on. turned on us and everything like so once the nurse was out the picture, I feel like everything was back to normal and our relationship got better. So we was like, well, if you want us to come back down there and stay with you, yeah. okay, that's fine. We can get a free stay, but you're going to have to pay for our flights as well because we just spent money coming back home. And, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't cheap. So she was like, no problem. I'll give you all your money when you get here. And you can also speak to the manager of the recovery house who, like, you know, owns the house and stuff. So I'm like, okay, perfect. So we wind up catching another flight. We went home and then we stayed we at home for one night. Yeah. And then we wind up flying out the next day. Our feet is now swollen. We're fucking tired because we just been walking and walking and walking. Um so yeah, we come back, they pick us up from the airport again. She hugs us so tight and she's like, I'm so sorry. Like her and Andy, they hugged us. They was like, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you girls. Like you just have to understand where we're coming from. Yeah, We've had several know. girls before who come here and we tell them the price of the recovery house and they act like they have the money, but now when it's time to pay and stuff like that, they're always like, well, oh my God, someone lost my, someone took my money. Do you know where my money is? And the whole entire time, they never came out here with no money. They just thought that they was gonna use the, someone took my money scheme and, and get, get a free stay or like get some money from them so she was like i just wanted to make sure like you guys wasn't one of them and i was like listen like i said before we get money we had surgery before this is nothing new to us like no one's here to try to take no money from you we don't need nobody's money we got our own money so we came to the house we spoke to the manager ronald he was very nice um he gave us all the cash right then and there he was only missing, I believe, like $300. And he was like, before the two weeks is over, he'll make sure that we get the money, the $300 before we leave. So, like I said, everything was perfectly fine from then on. Um, she was so apologetic. Yeah. She made sure she yeah. checked on us 24-7. She made sure we had the best day possible. Um, she you. gave us the key. She gave us the key for our room. So when we came back this time, she was like, you know, you girls are my girls. I'm going to give you your key to your room. Doesn't no one get inside of your room. So, everything turned out for the better. Um, we were just definitely trying to take precaution because we ain't know nobody out here. And we just wanted to make sure everything was, like, smooth, like, peaches and cream. So, now this go around, we are already familiar with her. So, for surgery, I did decide to come back out here to Fendi because she is amazing. She's a wonderful woman. Like, you can tell... Her heart and her passion is is in everything that she does. Um, like I said, she does some really as good lip fillers. So <laughs> I'm thinking about getting my lips done again yes. while I'm out here. <laughs> I was say, did you mention one bitch What you mean? Oh, All oh, right, we made videos on Facebook. We posted her in the Cabral page, letting everyone know like this recovery house took our money. 
and she told us like can you please delete those videos because you're ruining my reputation. everyone is yeah you're ruining my reputation doesn't nobody want to book me anymore everyone's writing me telling me how fucked up that is so and i was like yeah because you're playing with us you ain't know how big our reputation was you ain't know how much weight that we held so you thought you was you had one up on us but we actually had one up on you like we'll stop your whole business we'll get your whole house shut down fucking with us like you don't know how much weight we hold in america so she had us go live with her on our Instagram oh, and yeah, on baby. Facebook when we got back and we returned. And she and wanted to explain the story. Like that was like that was like the poppingest thing that was in DR at the time. Right. That was like the main thing going on in DR right now. Two girls got their money stolen and got oh, chased Fendi's out of Fendi's recovery. Af chased out of Fendi's recovery house. Um it was it was a bunch. So we wound up going on Facebook live and Instagram live and we was letting them know the situation, letting them know like it wasn't her fault, it was the nurse fault. And she got on live as well and she was like, I would never do something like that, that's not me at all. But everyone has to understand why I reacted the way I did because you know things like this happen like I told you guys before. So she explained that her side of the story, we explained our side of the story. In the end of the video, we hugged, we kissed, we said we love you and everything was perfectly fine. And a whole year later, here we are again. And now her clientele is like booming. She got like 13 bitches in here right now, <laughs> including me and Kayla. So, yeah, Fendi. Right. Congratulations <laughs> to Fendi. Business is definitely up and running. Yeah, Fendi. Um, so, right. With that be on me, Facebook. You'll be on Twitter. You'll be on Instagram. You'll be on all of it. You'll be on all of it. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of it. It's going to go viral. Fendi's home, you guys will not have no more customers whatsoever. Whatsoever. Yeah, you can turn off the light. It's okay. You can turn off the light. Andy. Yes. Andy and what's her name? Fifi or, or, or whatever her name is. We are, we are asking y'all to let us out and y'all cannot let us out. So what do you call that? Hostage. Then this motherfucking dirty ass recovery house, it looks like a bando. Y'all, y'all fucking downstairs is so junky. It, it's so junky. It's so junky. It's so junky. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. 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 No, they don't trust you. No, they don't trust you. Y'all can't let us out. Y'all can't let us out. No, huh. you went for the way. Huh. You're not scared. You were supposed to be called the police two hours ago. You were supposed to be called the police two hours ago. You went for the police. You were supposed to be called the police two hours ago, honey. Two hours ago. You were supposed to be called the police. Ha. 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 I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, don't know what you're saying. Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, 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 do let me out! Y'all is really holding us hostage. Oh my God, this is going on Facebook. Oh, this is going on Instagram and everything. Wow! <laughs> Y'all is really holding somebody hostage in here. I'm gagging. Hostage. 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 And little Missy, you'll be on Facebook as well. <laughs> you'll be on Facebook. Ah! Huh? I was gonna say. Come on, come on. Come on. Go. Huh.